Wherever in the world I go on assignment, I'm almost certain to see youngsters kicking a ball around. Football is universal. I've worked in foreign news for more than 20 years and have covered stories all over the world. Whether it's a township in South Africa or a refugee camp on the Syrian border, football allows people living in the most difficult circumstances to forget their problems for a short time. The sight of a news team with a camera draws a crowd. People who speak very little English will come up to me and say, hello, Premier League, Manchester United. Most of them will probably never visit Old Trafford in their lives, but football bridges the gap between countries and cultures. In 2003, I was sent to Northern Iraq to cover the war there. While filming an abandoned military post, I stepped on a hidden anti-personnel landmine. The blast blew off my right foot, and part of my right leg had to be amputated below the knee. Sir Bobby Charlton was inspired to start Find a Better Way after visiting Cambodia. There, he saw for himself the devastation that landmines caused to children and families decades after the fighting had ended. That's the reality of daily life for millions of people, not just in Cambodia, but in two thirds of the world's countries. Find a Better Way funds medical and technological research to help landmine blast survivors, funds programs to help children identify and avoid landmines, and is opening a series of Sir Bobby Charlton centres around the world, helping those injured by landmines to rebuild their lives.